to acsportstips.com. We kick off the 2012 college football season with a great game down in Nashville, Tennessee. Number nine ranked South Carolina and Steve Spurrier take on Vanderbilt and the young Commodores were head coach James Franklin. This is going to be a great game and don't be shocked if Vanderbilt pulls off the upset for a couple of reasons. Let me tell you why. First of all, South Carolina has three major holes to fill on the team. They lose Alshon Jeffrey, Melvin Ingram, and Stephen Gilmore. They're starting wide receiver, defensive end, and cornerback all to the NFL draft. All the pressure will fall on Connor Shaw, quarterback Connor Shaw, and Steve Spurrier to, to implement a, a good game plan against a young, quick Vanderbilt defense. The Vanderbilt defense has seven starters back, not one sophomore. They're all juniors and seniors, and this is going to keep Vanderbilt in the game defensively. Offensively for the Gamecocks, they do get back all SEC running back Marcus Lattimore. However, he was limited in spring practice, and it's going to take a while for Lattimore to get back into midseason form. I just don't see it happening on the opening night of football. I see it maybe on the third or fourth week of the season. Lattimore should get his game going and, and get used to the cutting and the running ability of that knee and, and the flexibility. I just don't see Lattimore bouncing back. Uh, for, you know, coming out right out of the gate, you know, top end speed. I think you'll see him limited in his touches. And I think that'll play into Vanderbilt's um, game plan a little bit. I think Vanderbilt look for a ball controlled offense with, you know, Zach Stacy, Warren Norman comes back. He was the starter before he went down to injury. They have two dependable backs and a great quarterback in, in Jordan Rogers, the younger brother of Aaron Rogers. He, he matured last year week to week. He has another year under center, another year of maturity. And James Franklin is a very underrated coach. The, t the fans in Nashville are behind this team. This team believes that they can win. They went to a bowl game last year, the first time since 2008. And I think that this team believes that they can be in every game. They lost four games last year by a total of 18 points. They lost to Georgia, Tennessee, South Carolina, um, Tennessee, Arkansas, and um, Florida by a combined score of 18 points. That's an average of 4.5 points a game. They, were, they had a chance to win all of those games. I just think that that has a big reason why this team believes in itself, and I look for them to pull off the upset. I think they'll try to get into a low-scoring affair. Um, I, I look for ball control, play action, and I just think that Vanderbilt will pull off the upset. I'm calling for a 21-20 win.